Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel, or maybe we should call it the official 8.1 channel now. Um, today we're going to show you one of the new apps that is now available through your Windows 8.1 update. So if you updated your machine to 8.1, that is uh, totally free. Um, if you haven't done so, uh, you can get that update through the Windows Store and you'll have that big purple square that says there's uh, Windows 8.1 update free. Uh, it comes with new apps uh, that are the core apps of the Windows experience and one of them is the new health and fitness app that is available uh, through your new um, Windows 8.1 and as soon as you start it, it's gonna personalize your uh, experience. So for example, um, I'll select mail, I'll select a uh, fake, I'll select actually uh, my real birthday and um, 69, so it gives you my age now. Um, well, you can also add your height. So I'm five foot eight inches. And uh, then you have your what, nine inches, sorry. And uh, your weight in pounds. So I'm 195, which I'm a little overweight actually. And so here you can get your calorie targets. Um, so I'm moderately active and uh, I want to lose weight so it gives me a recommended daily calorie target of 2380 cal calories so it's really nice it's a nice cool app to actually help and try and uh, make you um, be uh, keep your you know health and um, if you have goals and stuff, uh, you just answer all the little questions. And what actually it does, it's after you save that, it will, of course, give you access to what you need to do. And um, you'll have exercise tracker, the browse, you can work out, the browse the workout, health tracker, uh, symptoms if you um, feel tired or whatever you can enter all sorts of little things it's a pretty cool and you have these cool, cool little videos of uh, how to work out how to what kind of exercises uh, the type of foods you should actually uh, eat how many calories uh, so it's really nice you have the popular diets you can click on and it will show you what's the most popular trend in diets and the nutrition A to Z you'll know what to do what not to do all sorts of medical um, articles about um, you know getting um, information about all sorts of aspects of life uh, for example here seven ways to reduce ankylosing um, so you know all sorts of things and all sorts of news also um, about what's happening and what's cool is that this information is of course always updated with all the different news sources of uh, everything about fitness and health and nutrition and it's, it's a really a nice actually a very nice app and so the uh, Bing Health and Fitness app is uh, an interesting add-on actually um, I think a lot of us need including myself need to uh, maybe you know do a little more to stay in shape and uh, I think it was a very very good move uh, about um, from Microsoft to actually add this being health and fitness app so I suggest that you uh, actually take a look at it and uh, you know uh, take a look at the type of exercises you do answer all the questions fill out the forms the type of exercises that you've done and um, all of that together will slowly uh, give you a um, view of your health condition 
and of course it doesn't substitute a uh, doctor so you still need to go to your doctor if, uh, if you don't feel right but uh, I think this is a great way of trying to uh, basically uh, keep in shape so the new Bing Health and Fitness, Fitness app really really nice app all sorts of great information and I think that this is the uh, one of the best uh, new apps that is included and it's available only through Windows 8.1 so if you can't find it don't worry it's because you haven't updated yet it is on all Windows 8.1 machines so uh, keep that in mind uh, great new app look at it and check it out um, it was available by the way in the Windows 8.1 preview for those that had updated to that preview version and now it's really improved and much better on the Windows 8 um, 8.1 machine so uh, hope you enjoy these reviews these looks at Windows 8 stuff and hope we help you in learning more and using more of your computer uh, with Windows 8 and now that Windows 8.1 is here we're gonna have a lot of videos about stuff that are related to Windows, Windows 8.1 so I would suggest that uh, you update your machine to Windows 8.1 it's free takes from uh, anywhere from about some people say 20 minutes and all the way to uh, several hours depending on the machine mine took about an hour and 10 minutes to do so um, and I have the video online uh, while I'm actually updating so depends on how many apps how many programs are installed your settings depends on a lot of uh, of also internal uh, features the speed of your computer uh, the hard drive and all of that so um, anywhere from 20 minutes to uh, maybe an hour or two for most uh, users the average seems to be about around one hour from what I've seen uh, and uh, if you have a feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about or maybe you have that new Windows 8 machine then well you know ask away your questions we'll see what we can do what we can ask uh, or answer sorry and um, if we uh, can do a video to help you we'll do it um, with pleasure and uh, hopefully you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye